It's a grizzly. Should we get out of here? No. We're gonna watch and listen. Well, hello everybody. How's everybody doing this evening? Welcome to another edition of Grizzly and Henny's Paranormal Cryptid Conspiracy. Reality or Look fiction. Out. With welcome, Grizzly welcome. and Chris. Hello, Chris. Hi, Grizzly. How, How you, you doing? Doing, doing fine. Right, Hello, man. Catherine. Hello, everybody. How's everybody doing? So, yeah. So, we got a brand new show that's just now coming out. Uh, Chris concocted this up. So, yes. Don't oh, forget, don't ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> uh, you can support us by sending the stars to help us earn some more money to make some more content, pay for some some uh, subscriptions and so forth. Crazy Witch coming around the corner, and here he comes, ladies and gentlemen. I know he's sitting there laughing, tilting his head back, and laughing. Uh, yep. Yeah. Hey, hello, everybody. Liana King, welcome. Standing Stones, hello, hello. Standing so. Stones. What are we going to do with this show, kind sir? Oh, uh, let's say we have a pretty wide open topic range, don't we? I mean, between yeah. paranormal, paranormal, cryptid, and uh, tons of conspiracies. I mean, conspiracies. Yeah, we got we wow. got all kinds of fun stuff. Yes. So, where would you like to start our journey? So, actually, we were talking about uh, something before the show, weren't we? Yeah. Artificial we were... intelligence. Yeah, I don't know how much of a conspiracy that is. It's more of <laughs> something that's coming at us as fact, right? Um, but it's uh, pretty scary, nonetheless. Yeah, it what is. We're, what we're faced with. Ladies and gentlemen, it is going to cost people millions and millions of people's jobs. Uh, you know, they estimated, We I talked about this on a national show during the week. Uh, they estimated, I think it was 250, 275 million. Now it's a lot uh, like triple that. You know, they already got McDonald's going dark. They got 400 uh, Burger Kings plus uh, shutting down. Uh, now you're seeing ads online. You know, hey, you want to do this? You want an encoder? Try me. You want a programmer? Try me. You want you too. know somebody to do a commercial? Try me. And it's like, whoa. And ladies and gentlemen used to make fun of me when I said the Terminator, when it came out, that's going to be reality. Jurassic Park, that's going to be reality. But oh, no, nobody wanted to listen to Grizzly. They said no, it was it's crazy. All, it's all coming at us for sure. Um, it's amazing how many jobs it's going to replace. And it's already... Just by playing with it, uh, you you and I both had messed with Chat GPT a little bit, and uh, I was I was stunned. I'm gonna be honest with you, I was stunned on how how uh, much information and how easily it is to get what you want and get it to do stuff for you. I mean, all the way from what I what I make a country a country song about Shark Week and about I don't know what was it, it took me about thirty seconds 
and yeah. it came out pretty damn good. I was surprised. Um, it, it could do anything, and, and that and that's the sad and scary part is how many people are actually getting paid to do jobs that it's going to be doing for them in a short amount of time here. Well, you yeah. know, it reminds me of this song. You can't always get what you want, but if you try sometime, you just <laughs> might, you know, but that's the thing, ladies and gentlemen, is that, you know, it, it, it's got a lot of good potentials, but it also has a dark side. But when it comes to this technology and so forth, uh, we're actually seeing this in the paranormal world, in the cryptid world, too. And this is where it really is like awful in my books, because now the photographs and the videos that people have that we don't know, ladies and gentlemen, that have maybe some good evidence. We're like, mm, I don't know. 100%. I mean, if you don't know the source of, or the person they came from, it's hard to tell if anything's real nowadays. Um, I've seen a lot of pictures that came from AI that was pretty incredible. Matter of fact, I was watching a uh, podcast with, I think you were on it the other day, and, and there were some whales floating around a, I don't know if it was Dubai or something yeah. like that, around a tower. Was and I, I was like, shows I do, yeah. Yeah. Now, it, I mean, that was so realistic. They asked me, what would you do? And I was like, I would kneel down and pray and think the end of the world was coming and it was happening right there in front of me and pray to, I would pray to my God that I'm, I, yeah. that I'm dying, that this is it. Ladies and gentlemen, they had projected these whales. I don't know if they were sperm whales, humpback whales, but they were coming out of this fountain, water fountain and flying in the air and they look like they were there like i mean i'm not talking holographic i'm not talking digitalized where they were like fuzzy and blurry and pixelated i'm talking like they were like the real living species in the air and yeah, people were like around. standing around just like all and like what now, I know that's a different what than you're all accustomed used to hearing Grizzly saying, but I'm just, I mean, but I'm just saying it's just, uh, I never saw that before. And, but, you know, they were conspiracizing that with something, an incident with America that happened back, you know, 20 something years ago. But I don't know. I just, um, but like Chris well, man, says, Imagine you know, all the, I mean, we've seen Hollywood tricks, right? We've seen Hollywood tricks supposedly used in all kinds of things just to get us to believe things. But now what we'll, what we will see that comes out towards us and projected just across the internet and how many people are going to buy into whatever they see. You know, it's pretty scary. I, don't I, mean, know. I can think of, I can think of one instance. I mean, everybody, you know, the, the whole conspiracy of nine 11, you know, whether whether the planes hit the towers or not, but it wouldn't be hard for Hollywood to at the time to to create that image. You know, you blast it across the media, but now with AI, you can make things even more realistic. Yeah, so. it's, it, it's very interesting. So, and, and it's sad because. Uh, I've, I've now have seen some alleged trail cam footage of some cryptids and it, it's just like, and like I always tell people when they send me footage, you know, uh, they say, Grizzly, is this real or, or is this fake? And, and I always say, number one, I'm not there. Number two, I didn't, I didn't take the, the, the picture or, or the, or the recording. So I always, you know, leave, leave that as it is because, right. you know, but with technology, the way it is. And of course, the hoaxers and the fakes that are out there, it's going to make the people that are non believers even more like, huh, you know. But the ones that we know that are legit, like, you know, Shoop and Hartman mm -hmm. and Scott and everybody else that are big hearted and sincere and, and, and they got, you know, history and it's well known in the community. And, you know, I mean, we take that at face value. What they present to us is is the truth and the gospel. Yeah. Uh, but like you said, with somebody that's not vetted, 
you know, it's it's kind of it's harder for them to come forward with stuff. And I'm not saying I'm not going to dis disbelieve them or not believe them, right? Right. But for right. the general public as a totality, and I always love to use that word as a whole. Yes, I'm illuminating. <laughs> Jackie's having fun tonight. You know, um, but it's going to make it harder for the non-believers to understand because they're going to be like, oh, they're playing with the computer programs or whatnot. And, yep. and, that, and that's sad. Um, it muddies really up the is. water a lot. It muddies up the water completely. I mean, it's, it makes it even more difficult to discern the real reality versus what's not real, obviously, you know? Well, and then, and I'm not trying to jump into politics, right? But then now they're saying Biden. <sighs> I know. <laughs> now they're saying Biden's coming forth this summer and telling us that. Ladies and gentlemen, aliens and UFOs are real. And I'm like, dude, you've been smoking crack for how long? And you're just now going to come forward and tell, what, what, who? yeah, that's like, okay. I mean, they told us during COVID that they're real. Nobody paid attention. Yeah. Yeah. That's the knives are out for Mr. Biden. Who knows where that's going? But uh, there's a lot of psyop going on there. They're, they're, they're setting us up for some kind of alien thing. Who knows? That's all I can say. There's just way too much coming out. There way too many whistleblowers all of a sudden, and they're just kind of normalizing the fact. Uh, do I think there's technology out there? Absolutely. I think they've had a hold of it for some time now, but they uh, are definitely setting something up. You can you can feel it. It's a little too obvious, I think. It is. It is. Now, ladies and gentlemen, for the people that don't watch uh, some of my shows. Uh, I have some very well talented psychics that uh, are on a panel that we use for a missing person cases, cold cases, murder cases that I do on Fridays. And there are some other psychics that we interview on some other shows that have their own channels and whatnot. And we had one psychic that is so talented. And I picked up on her energy right away. And, and I knew she was talented because she, uh, vetted herself very quickly with me and it's very easy to vet a true psychic and i'm like let me ask you something she said sure and i asked this live on the air and i'm like is biden real oh man it did hit her and she just like nope and i think that's right quick answer huh yeah i mean very quick and i mean i mean i mean i didn't mean to like put her on the spot or anything but I wanted to see her natural response and out of nowhere, right? right? I mean, I, I mean, I hit her really quickly with that question uh, because I didn't want anybody or her to have a chance to be like, oh, what is he going to ask me, right? And pick it up. And I was just like, is Biden real? And she's like, oh, no. <laughs> and she kind of like giggled. And she's like, I can't believe you know, that she was thinking, I can't believe you just asked me that on the air, right? But I had to <laughs> because, you know. But we are conditioned as human beings to believe and we're OK with things when it comes to reality or fiction. And we are really discurrent or discurrent, discurrent, disconcerned or not concerned about what is real and what is not reality. And we like are conditioned by that where, it, yeah, it's OK, you know, and it's not OK, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, and I got a problem with that. And that also is going over into the paranormal realm and the cryptid world as well. And it's sad. I mean, where do you think we're going to go with all this, Chris? Ah, that's a that's a good question. I mean, it's all kind of tied together a little bit. And there's a reason why they've been hiding all this information. And now all of a sudden they're disclosing this information. So your guess is as good as mine, but I feel like they're going to prop up some kind of UFO attack and use that as some kind of leverage to create more rules and more, more laws. And, and everybody's heard of the, the whole one world order, but. You know, they have been me. talking about that for years since I was even younger, but it's weird that you said that because UFOs and they changed it to UAPs and whatever else they want to call it and whatnot. Right. Mm -hmm. uh, so. Yeah, so I'm hearing that the aliens are going to be coming to pay us a visit 
And are they going to save us? Are they going to attack us? Are they going to make us come apart? Are they going to make us come together? Is this legit? Or is this one of those tactics where they're going to be floating those whales and projecting everything in the air? Could be, so could I'll, be I'll, both of them. Well, I, I think don't know. From what they or have heard and read and, and deep dived and jumped in the rabbit hole about <laughs> grizzly yeah it's uh they, they've had this technology they, they've had ufo technology so there's a good chance that they're just going to stage it with some of the technology they have i mean i think i think if real aliens exist which they very well probably do they wanted us gone or wanted to wipe us from the surf they would have already done it um that's just my my philosophy behind it but I don't, do I don't you, know what where it's all going. I just feel like there's something coming, right? Yeah, I, I don't I don't understand it at all. And what do you think about these cryptids? Because you know, on other shows we talk about CERN and we talk about the 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 sign of CERN, the company's logo, the three sixes and a swirl. Yeah. And a swirl, which we can relate to biblical references, the three sixes. And the Satan, right? You know, mm-hmm. 666. And how they're, are, you know, been trying to open up a portal. Well, ladies and gentlemen, I think they already done it. I think they already cracked the door on it. We got people at home that are opening up portals and they're disappearing. They're showing their videos on YouTube and TikTok. And next thing you know, they're like, the families are like, we're, 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 they're gone. And, you know, and their neighbors like, well, yeah, well, there are people over there with boxes and black SUVs and, you know, and once again, reality or fiction. Technology is there. Yeah, it does seem like there's a whole lot more cryptid activity going on. I don't know if it's because there's that many more people out in the woods or or what, or there's that many more people coming forward that had never used to come forward because of, you know, podcasts like yours, for example. But. Yeah, it's it does seem like there's a lot more stuff going on, right? And hell, even Bigfoot versus all these other cryptids that are out there, it makes you wonder because about a year ago I never even heard of a dog man. But nowadays <laughs> after learning all the stuff I've learned, it's like it could very well be true. I mean, there's people that swear up and down. You know, they swear in their children's lives that it it's real, they've seen it. I haven't laid my eyes on it, but I have all, all these all these different instances, all these you know cryptids that are coming out. It just seems like there's something going on there, right? And CERN, there, there's some bad sides to CERN. They they play as they claim they're just trying to uh, figure out the God particle and all that, but they they have a whole statue of the Shiva. It's at their complex. I don't know if you ever seen that, but that's the goddess of destruction. I believe well, even the grand opening was like, oh yeah, they what? had a they had like a satanic ceremony. Yes, I mean yes. If that doesn't show you some signs, people, I mean that's it that makes you wonder why? Why? I mean, if if it's not satanic, why do something satanic? Right? Kind yeah, of simple, yeah. Simple question I, mean, I totally agree with you on that. So, ladies and gentlemen, I threw up. If you want to follow me, I'm right there. Just click on that button. Uh, Norma, I totally agree, right? The aliens, IMO, or military industrial complex, they want to scare us into submission. I think you're right. I think that is a possibility. Uh, Angel Light, I have the ability to see also through floors and skies. Well, that's wild. That would freak me out. Uh, But, you know, Shiva is misrepresented. Well, it depends on how you look at it, Crazy Witch. Mm -hmm. Depends on your face. That depends on a lot of things. But, you know, it, it's it's weird. So, you know, I, I get this asked a lot on national and global shows. Why do we have an influx of the paranormal activity? And I do believe that men, and when I say men, I'm talking human beings, not just man as a person. I'm talking men and women, humankind, mankind, mm-hmm. right? I think that we're dabbling in things that we should not be dabbling in. And I think we're opening things up that we should not be and doing things. 
And ladies and gentlemen, I think that we're actually maybe are man, uh, manifesting some things or banking some things in labs. Uh, or it's demonic. I mean, I don't know. I mean, how else can you say this? I don't know. I mean, what do you think? Yeah, it's a little bit of everything, I think. I mean, as much as uh, faith can be thrown around one way or another, but you can't deny that there is that there's not good and not evil, right? There, there's both. So just the simple fact that we know good exists and evil exists, what level of evil? I mean, we're seeing it more and more. We're seeing, I'm not going to say certain things that in the healthcare side that we've seen recently in the past few years that, that came up, but there was some obvious lying going on there that, uh, that makes you question a lot of things, right? I mean, to the level of some pretty evil stuff that makes you wonder if there's a, even just one person or group of per people that can actually pull off the the sinister things that have been going on. I don't know. It's 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 really it's really discerning and it's really concerning about the different avenues that we're going down, not only political but also spiritual and the paranormal and the cryptid world. Uh, there's a lot of things. Nobody's got answers to. Uh, when I asked that psyche, which I'm not going to name the person's name, you know, if you didn't watch the episode, it, it's recorded. Um, uh, it, it was recently. But to see a politician. Hey, how you doing, everybody? And the reporter, are you going to be able to make it the next six years? <laughs> hey, have a good day. And I'm thinking, uh, ladies and gentlemen, you are going to put up with that. You all need to yank his rear end out. You need to fix the president, get him out of all. And we're okay with that. And we're okay that things going on in society and we're not staying forth and, and questioning things. And we're just sitting on our touches. And it's just like, okay, wow. Uh, yeah, Angie, uh, Angel. Uh, and I like, yeah, everyone making new friends. Absolutely. Uh, but. <laughs> yeah, I don't know I how, watch... how they voted for somebody like that. I mean, just makes you got to wonder. And then I watch these countries in their news. And they're playing clips of our politicians and they're laughing while they're doing their news broadcast of us Americans. The United States of America, and they're laughing during their broadcasts. And I'm like, well, that's really uh, awesome to look at and, and great to be in, an, in an entertainment for other countries. And I don't know, Norma Grizz, that is, that's it. They don't want us to know the truth about tech because they're not wanting to expose the free energy they haven't hit, and that's the issue. Norma, I hate to know what our government is hiding from us. 30 to 50 years advanced in technology. Now, we know beyond a reasonable doubt that during World War II, that when Nazi collapsed and we won the war, that we confiscated the scientists. So Russia didn't have the opportunity to have them. And we knew that the scientists that were bad, that created evil things with Hitler and for Hitler created the stuff for us to get to the moon rockets and jet propulsion. And, and we go on and on. Uh, so yeah, I mean, it's, but when we talk about the cryptic world, you know, do we call dog man werewolf? Do we call them skinwalkers? And I mean, you know, Chris made a valid point. And a lot of people has been coming to me uh, the past nine months are like, I never heard of a dog man. What the heck is that? And you try to explain to him what a dog man is. I'm like, well, what's the difference between a dog man and a werewolf? And you explain what you know the difference between a dog man and a werewolf. And then you tell then they turn around like, well, what's the difference between that and a dog man, a werewolf, and a skinwalker? And then you try to explain that three differences between that to the one person. They're like, are you sure it's not the same thing? And I'm like, well, I don't know, really, at this point. <laughs> right. Yeah. You know? That's exactly my take on it. And I'm like, what is the difference between all these things? I mean, they could all be one and the same. They could all be shape shifting doppelgangers or whatever. It's, 
And that's kind of the definition of a skinwalker anyway. But, um, yeah, it makes you wonder. It really does. I know uh, standing stones. You're right. I got to be careful. I had that lecture uh, with somebody else, and Chris and I talked about it. I know. I, that's why I'm on more than one platform, but still, I got to be civil when it comes to talking about certain things. But you know what? The, the, the truth needs to be spoken, ladies and gentlemen. That's the thing. And, you know, now we know beyond a reasonable doubt that not only, yes, uh, Angel Light, they're hiding so much it's scary. But when it comes to encounters with Bigfoot, there are conspiracies that happen. There are cover-ups, and we know that oh, yeah. beyond a reasonable doubt because we have people that are our age now or a little bit older. They're coming forward like Randy, mm -hmm. that they shut up and silenced, that he got attacked when he was a juvenile because he used to play with the juvenile Sasquatch with the other neighbors. And so he was in the barn, and uh, they were playing footsies, you know, put your feet mm -hmm. against my feet, pushing each other's feet, laughing and having a good time. And, and he beat at his chest like that. And next thing you know, he went ape crap. Well, and that wasn't funny using ape, but he hey, went hey, he went ballistic. Fun. You know, the the juvenile Sasquatch went nuts and tried to kill him, ripped his clothes off, you know, uh left a gash between his legs, uh by his mm -hmm. private area, uh damn near bled out. Uh, tried to rip his arm off the door almost. Yeah. <laughs> and uh and it, it it was so bad back then, they didn't have central air window units, right? right? So everybody had open windows. So the mom and dad heard what was going on from the barn and the screaming and hollering and the weird animal noise. And the dad come running with the shotgun, didn't know what was going on. And the story unfolds. And one ends, ends up getting shot and killed. And it goes from there. And not only did the tribal community, the Indians, but also the federal government, the National Guard and other agencies were involved. And uh, they had photographs and allegedly they took the photographs. Hey, Thomas, make sure and check your messages. Also, they had the photographs, took it to school for show and tell. And that really caused a big stink. Mm -hmm. everything was fine until he did a show with me and they shut down his YouTube channel and shut him up quickly. So he's been shut down twice now as a kid. Yes. I mean, and then correct. as an adult, and it took him how many years to come forward? Oh my gosh. Uh, almost 40 something. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. Yeah. So, you know, yeah, so are conspiracies out there? Yes. You know, what is reality? And I, I get this asked a lot of times on the national and global shows. You know, it, my reality and Thomas' realities may be similar, but not the same. My realities to a non-believer may not be the same at all. It could be the total opposite. So it, it's very crucial how people look at this. So I don't know. I mean, what are your thoughts and what directions do you want to go, Chris? I just, I think they have, my, my question is why they've been trying to hide it the whole time. I and mean, we, we know we've got people spoke about it in the military. They cover it up or there's stories where they come in with the military to clean things up. And um, there, there's gotta be a reason, right? I mean, they're, they're coming in here and they're, you know, men in black type of situations and try to make it go away and erase it what are they trying to hide there is it the simple fact that bigfoot exists and they don't think people can handle that reality or is there, is there a greater reality to all of this which if some of these things do exist maybe that's what they're trying to hide that there, there's more to the story than just bigfoot some ape walking around in the woods right there, there's if that was the case would you think they would care that much you know, if it was a tiger, you go shoot a tiger in the woods and kill it. Yeah, they're protected, but they're not going to come in with men in black. You know what right. I mean? You know, there's there's a much bigger situation going on there that, that they're trying to hide. 
Yeah, yeah standing stones. Point. They actually shut down his his YouTube channel. They they uh, yeah, that's what they did. Standing stones. They they shut him down completely. Everything. So we've still got a story posted. You can go back and watch it. Yo, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I've got it secured on many different platforms, but that, but that's the point, you know, and, and, you know, people showing up, you know, on that one group that I interviewed a while back ago, uh, yeah, a lot of people got upset because the way I, I said I would handle the situation, but ladies and gentlemen, I'm out in the woods, five, six, seven miles off the beaten path, and somebody's going to show up and start asking me questions about what i'm doing and they're dressed in a suit and uh, buddy somebody better get the damn duct tape out in a freaking chair and uh, i'm getting some answers okay <laughs> i'm sorry and, and everybody i was interviewing was freaking out over that and they're like oh we just kept doing our own thing how the hell was that uh, right. and, and Why are you walking they, around in the woods in a, with a suit on, right? I mean, yeah, come on. and then they try to lure them to go down this other road to go look at this barn that was four miles. And I'm like, yeah, yeah, no, somebody grab me a chair and some rope or some duct tape because you, I know how to, <laughs> I know how to leave no marks, ladies and gentlemen. We're going to get time some to interrogate. This <laughs> yes, absolutely. So I mean, you know, and and this happens a lot and. I talked to somebody else too the other day, Chris, during one of the shows and uh, where they go on, on investigations, they have these unmarked helicopters. They fly three at a time that flies over the locations. You, you heard about that, didn't you? Mm -mm. Yeah. And it's right either before or after their investigations, the helicopters fly over. And there's no military bases around. There's no markings on the heli helicopters. And a person lives not too far from the area, so they monitor the traffic because you can you can get that app, you know, where you can monitor the air traffic, whether it's a helicopter or airplanes. And you got and one is you can get marked. just four airplanes. Uh, and if something's flying overhead, and well, Barb's got it. You know, when she heard that airplane flying over, she's like, oh, something's flying over a low. And next thing I know, I knew she's grabbing her phone. And she's like, oh, it's only a C-130. And I was like, blah, 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 blah. And I was like, yeah, she got that app. So, mm -hmm. I mean, it's been out there for a while. But, you know, when stuff like that's not listed, then what is it for? I mean, what are they doing? You know, yeah, we're humans. Our mind's going to wander, you know, and, and think about things and so forth and whatnot. But. I don't know. It just, the, there's a lot of things. What is it reality or is it fiction? You know, what is it? Yeah. It kind of reminds me of a uh, skinwalker. They've had, uh, you know, if, if you watch skinwalker ranch and I know it's TV and all, but they, they have some situations where the helicopters will just show up flying over while they're doing their experiments. Um, unmarked the same thing that they, cause they, they look and see what's, you know, re being reported as being in the area, you know, as far as planes and helicopters, and they get ones that are just black hawks and nothing's marked. So, yeah, obviously, if they're they're hiding something, they're they're gonna go unmarked, and it's obvious that you know th that's what the government doesn't understand. I guess is they don't create a whole lot of trust when they run around being all secret about things, and they if they lie about stuff i mean you know, why why wouldn't they think people would be not trusting anything they say so you know there's I mean? a message up there chris it says facebook user wonder why there's no dead bodies or pictures of bigfoot there are they're confiscated yeah randy had a body randy had photographs he wasn't the only one. Mount St. Helens, people allegedly said they saw the bodies in the cargo nets with the helicopters taken away. The, the mid, uh, the, the forest fires out Midwest, uh, the firefighters fighting the, the fires uh, came across bodies and the National Guard was there and told them, get out. We got this. You weren't here. Mm -hmm. we, we're, we're taking over. Like the LBL. Land between the lakes. Okay. You know, people ask me to this day, did it happen? Absolutely, it happened. 
there there are legitimately people that were that that were there. The law enforcement officer when he responded, you know, thought it was he was called to a murder scene. He came forward at the time. The people that were still alive back then, you know, came forward. Uh, the people at the campsite that were camping. Uh, heard the commotion. There was a few eyewitnesses that came forward. Uh, did they stick around after all that stuff went down? The hell no, they were visiting. They were out of state people. I mean, that terrified them. I mean, it messed the cops' life up for life, you know, finding, you know, following the blood and finding the body, the child's body up in the tree. And there's one survivor in the whole situation. And he finally came forward and told the story of all that, all that happened. And, uh, yeah, they had, I think, two different agencies that came out. Um, some with what they would describe at the time being military type of Jeeps. Yeah. And then the others were more of the men in black style. So they make it go away. There's a body or something. And I believe that story was the, well, some people are speculating as a werewolf, dog man, whatever basically he climbed up a tree and died. I'm sure there were some pictures of that. Guarantee it. They're not going to be found, that's for sure. They're long gone. They make it go away. We got a, I got a, another friend of ours that's a cryptozoologist. And there's a situation in one of our Florida state parks down here that basically a dog man came out of the woods right around a dumpster there's a couple guys that were in a car uh, one of them was a park ranger another one was i want to say a vendor for the park and they were talking and one pulled out the camera and took a picture of his dog man and uh, literally a, a suburban showed up within like 30 seconds to a minute made the situation go away they literally took the phone smashed it gave it back to them told them they didn't see anything the the uh, park ranger was fired. The vendor lost their contract. They just made them go away. They they don't want that information out there. They just you know, what is it they're hiding? It's so if it's just a dog man, yeah. There's there's something way more. You know what I mean? Yeah, we'll be right back, ladies and gentlemen. Mm -hmm. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to our new show, Chris. Let's talk about what direction we're going to go with our show and what we're going to do with it. Well, just pretty much as our title says, right? A little bit of everything. Paranormal. I'm not as big of a paranormal. Yeah, it's more of your realm. Um, but uh, definitely have some, some uh, you know, conspiracy theory knowledge and, of course, a little bit of cryptid knowledge, but we'll... We'll steer it in any direction. You never know what, what uh, direction we're going to go each week. Um, next week, we have a guest coming on, Mike Famalot. And uh, we'll have we'll have occasional guests. I think uh, Grizzly's got Old Bear coming up the week after that, hopefully. And uh, so we'll have some, some regular guests come through, talk about their experiences and, and all that fun stuff, as well as uh, yeah, whatever you guys like to talk about in the chat as well. So what is Bigfoot? 
I mean, if if you're trying to explain to somebody what Bigfoot is, how would you say what is Bigfoot to people? Me, um, I would say it's well. I, again, like as, as a kid, I used to think of Bigfoot as just some big ape running around, the, like almost like a solo ape, right, running around the woods. Um, nowadays, I I see it as a family of cryptid. Uh, we see evidence of families, so it's a it's basically we don't know. That's a that's a good question. We don't know. It's a it's a apparently half human, half something that we don't know, and that's the whole mystery that we're all trying to find out, or part yeah, of it, at least. Yeah, I mean, we are told and advised by people uh, on shows and credible people. Uh, indigenous background, tribal background, that they have structure. Ladies and gentlemen, did you hear what I said? Structure. They have hierarchies. They have medicine people. They have the the grand, I almost said something, I almost refused to say, I, well, yeah, that's fine, I'm going the wrong direction. But they have <laughs> leaders. They believe in God. They believe in heaven. Uh, they pray with humans. And it's like, uh, uh, oh, oh, okay. Uh, they wear clothes. Uh, you know, and, you know, years ago when I first heard that, you know, I would laugh with inside. And I'm like, oh, come on, ladies and gentlemen. They wear clothes. Tell me something else. And then, you know, you, you talk to Val, you know, retired state trooper. And he's like, yeah, you want to know how many incidents? Okay. In between these three past years, we had 343 incidents of uh, Sasquatch report wearing hats, uh, overall shirts. And I'm like, dude, what? And, and, you know, it's his databases. And I'm like, and then, uh, you know, from... Uh, Appalachian Mountains, the Pacific Northwest, uh, the backwoods of Tennessee, to Virginia, the Car and you're like, these people are seeing something. Like, oh yeah, my clothes get taken all the time off the clothesline, and I'm like, what? And I'm like, yeah. yeah, we sheets do too. We find the sheets up in the woods tied in knots, and and it's like, well, what are they doing? Put stuff up so, the trees too, right? Yes, yes. <laughs> so, hello there, Agent Smith. Welcome, welcome. So, yeah. So, you know, you 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 hear this stuff, and you want to debunk it. You want to say bull, uh, but when you hear this being consistently being towed across the states and across many states and different, you know. Uh, ethnic backgrounds, uh, different uh, levels in our, you know, populations, uh, whether it's southern or upper mm -hmm. uh, the United States. And, and, and it's just like, well, I mean, these people are not like, hey, we're, we're gonna all going to call Grizzly or go on these different shows. I'm like, let's all tell the same story. You know, it, it, ladies and gentlemen, that's not how it works. Now, are there hoax? Yeah, there's hoax. Are there fakes? Absolutely. I say this all the time. But when you start getting similarities of stuff like this, I mean, what are you going to do? I mean, you, you got to take it somehow. And yeah, swallow you can, that you can throw you could throw out a certain percentage, right? I mean, just like any data, there's going to be, just like you said, there's going to be some hoax, there's going to be some fakes, but you get enough of that data, there's got to be some weight to it at a certain point in time. I mean, not only that, it's worldwide, right? Yeah, you got, it is. You got, you it got is. worldwide sightings, and they, they call it different names, whatever, whatever have you, but it's there worldwide, and it's same thing with, you know, the UFOs. I mean, you got ancient histories of all kinds of different, you know, the Aztecs and Mayans and, you know, Egyptians, you know, they're referring to, and they show pictures of flying chariots or whatever. Right. It, yeah. It, it and, goes in the history like that, too. Yeah. And like Gino just stated, I missed that. They wear jewelry. Yes. That is a common report that I hear. They wear jewelry. And now that is wild. And when somebody first told me that, I was like, yeah, okay. 
but then but then again then we also uh you know get reports that people actually gift them jewelry or bracelets or trinkets and stuff like that and so yeah and it's real interesting i don't and chris i don't remember the woman's name but the woman that's going around to each state and using ai and what do you remember what uh sasquatch look like and she's trying to replicate uh, replicate the picture uh sasquatch using ai i mm-hmm. can't remember her name and and who was it that said oh, that's what it looked like who who yeah. was that lynn i think it's linda eastwood something is like that, that. Who, uh, she believe, just interviewed me is she yeah yeah she does a lot of interviews uh, mike mike and marie both had had done an interview with them with her but she's also i don't know if she's doing the ai or she gets somebody else to do it but yeah she tries to get a description and kind of create that there's a couple there's a few people out there doing that now so, no i think it's eastburn that yeah linda yeah, eastburn, maybe it's eastburn. yeah it might be the same one i don't know I'd have to look it up. But yeah, it's just, yeah. just interesting that but didn't somebody say that's what it looked like? Who was that that came forward and said that? That was Mike. Uh, our group member, there was somebody that made one and he's like, that's it. That's what it looks like. At least, you know, here locally in Florida. You know, and again, you go even to South Florida, it looks different from here, which is Everglades. So it's regionally, they're just like people. You can go around the world. Everybody looks a little different. Right? You can go from state to state to country to country. I'm sure Yeti or Sasquatch or whatever you want to call them are, are all going to be different. Yeah, so. so I don't know. You know, I mean, we talked about this off air, you know, a bunch of times about, you know, how we learned that there are rogue Sasquatches that are banned from families or clans or groups that live on people's properties uh, because they don't get along or they're outcasts and don't follow their rules that are have in place. Now, ladies and gentlemen, I did say that they have rules. They have laws, you know, and I'm sorry. I, I have a rough time wrapping my mind around that. Uh, because I grew up, you know, I thought of it as, like he said, as, as a gorilla, an ape, a primate. Uh, but seeing uh, Barb Sheep's video of it uh, allegedly one cloaking, that that's I still have a rough time with that. Mm-hmm. Uh, and I asked somebody the other day that's really into the cryptozoology, and I asked them, and I said, this is not a trick question. And I was like, what color is a polar bear? And somebody else answered. And I was like, now is your name so-and-so? And they're like, no. And I was like, well, don't answer that question. <laughs> you know? And, and and the person was like, well, I guess it is kind of brown. And I'm like, well, no, you wasn't got I didn't want to bust them out. But, you know, it, it's like, you know, they, you know, just like you said with the hair underneath the microscope, right? Mm-hmm. Since you got your microscope, you, you've been playing and dabbling with it, right? Mm-hmm. So, and that's pretty interesting. Uh, Lord Bear being with black hair, right? Yeah. So, and that. and then, you know, then Standing Stones or somebody in here before and won the show was like, oh, yeah, there was a plane crash years ago. And my, my granddad or my father said that they had cable wire. It was fiber optic. And it's like, what? You know, and then once again, that was military airplane, right? So go figure. And then we had that one guy that worked for the government that told us on the air that shocked me to death that he even said it, that the fighter airplanes uh, could see the UFOs, but couldn't see them on the radar. So they had to develop. Now, ladies and gentlemen, now listen to me. This was on the air last year on one of my shows. They had to develop technology to see these ufos uaps that they could see and then could not see to identify them while they were up in the air so that told me that they knew that they were up there flying around while they were flying around but they couldn't see them 
And then the ones they could see weren't showing up on the radars in the planes, nor the radars on the ground. But they developed that technology and, and they had to pull all the planes off the air, off the market and re retrofit these with these planes with this technology. And I'm, I about fell out because this guy is like, you don't believe my titles. And he went down the list of his titles. And, went, and he was like, you go check out these federal websites and these whatever. And you can see me and, and where I'm at. And I'm like, well, I did that. You know, I wanted to make sure he was who he was and he was. And then that that's when all crazy. the UFO stuff start happening and flying across. It was Chinese spy balloons from the 40s, 50s, which I still don't understand, comprehend. But and then he just fell off the face of the earth. I'm like, oh boy, did he get zapped? <laughs> I don't know. So now he's gone. Hey, yeah. That's very possible. But now they so, get all these whistleblowers coming out and talking like crazy about UFOs. Um there, there's a whole slew of them that just came out and there's a pretty cool documentary, but uh, it's called the lost century. And if you guys haven't seen, you might want to go check it out, but it's pretty incredible what this guy is doing. And he, he deals with a bunch of military whistle whistleblowers. He has over 750 of them. Um, and yeah, he knows a lot of them that have, have uh, been killed along the way um whistleblowing but you know they 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 stay strong and they're they're coming out about a lot of stuff but his biggest thing is more about uh zero what's it called zero it's actually like a quantum physics but there's basically a uh energy that like they're creating boxes that literally can produce energy and they're static oh, do we just there's no moving parts there's it's just Pretty crazy, and they, they, he covers a lot of the ground about all the stuff that's been covered up throughout the years. All these different inventions that get buried with patents, or people that come in to buy them out, or just bullied. Yeah, you know, tell them to shut up, and or you're going to die, and your family's going to die, and people go away. So there's a lot of that goes on, but that's a really cool documentary. If, you, if people haven't seen it, it's definitely worth checking out. But. Uh, I yeah, and it's, it's, I, I do agree it's, with you. I think people do need to check that out because there, I think there is so much happening in today's world when it comes to the cryptid world that is being hushed and covered up. That's not being told is because they are putting the fear in people and their families. If if they're treating the if they're treating people that happened back in the 70s and 80s and 90s the way they did back then i cannot even imagine what they're doing now especially with the the digital age i mean how easy is it to, to to wipe somebody from from the face of the earth digitally pretty easy so and discredit somebody mm -hmm. so uh glass bullets cia used uh or ice bullets I guess bullets uh, back in the blow. Cold War, remember? What was that? Blowfish poison? Yes. Mm -hmm. So, uh, I mean, we go on and on about conspiracies. Mm -hmm. and a lot of the conspiracies in some of the CIA and, uh, you know, I call it, you know, go, go gadget. Uh, and if you all remember who that is, but uh, that stuff was actually reality. And yeah, it's, I not, can it's, not, it's not a theory it's a fact i mean they, yeah. they actually they actually showed the gun and explained the whole thing right in front of congress i mean they admitted it so, so there's, there's, a, there's a certain point in time that people don't realize that that they, they kind of still wipe that and you know sweep it under the rug but it's out there it's all out there yeah it's just else. i don't know it it's just amazing now Gino, hey, Grace, uh, Breaking Bigfoot has a pic of the big hairy fellow wearing a necklace. Uh, Breaking Bigfoot. Uh, I don't know. Is that a group or something? Might be. So, uh, but uh, now we know, uh, we know a lady, uh, a woman, I should say. Uh, she gives them Mardi Gras beads. Mm -hmm. uh, and they don't know what to do right now. They're, uh, they're just looking at them. 
Uh, so uh, they probably never, and I, I don't know what they think when they see him. Maybe they don't like the color. Hell, I don't know. Yeah. Uh, that's like today. What's his name? Uh, I'm not going to mention his name. Showed us a picture of a green tomato. <laughs> and it was bitten in half. Or the top was bitten off of it. And the first thing I said, DNA. You know? Because yeah, I, I knew by the teeth marks and, and the way it was bit. The way it was bit. It was mm-hmm. not a human. That and, looked like one bite too, right? Yes. It's exactly it like what it looked big, like. It, big green tomato and a big chunk of it. I mean, almost half the tomato. And it wasn't one of these ones <laughs> where, like, I'm going to eat it. It was like, I'm going to sample it. Yeah. And it, yeah, it did not like it. Evidently, it did not like it because it did not eat the rest. The teeth marks in that thing left, though. Oof. Yes. So, and that's the first thing I said was DNA. And the guy, I don't I forgot what the guy said. Not today or not interested. Or I don't know if he's referring to the tomato was not interested or. But, you know, I mean, he gifts the things. He gifts the creatures. And, you know, I mean, I have my reservations about doing it. A lot of people do it. And. And there's been some a lot of controversy about gifting Bigfoot in Sasquatch because mm-hmm. of incidents where yeah. other neighbors have been attacked, their house has been vandalized, fish and wildlife has been, you know, involved over the incidents, but they call them bears. Yeah, they never well, say if Bigfoot. If you if you put out six or six days a week, put out big giant jars of peanut butter yeah. and you cut them off. Yeah, I'd be a little pissed too. <laughs> I mean, we're talking, I mean, I call them half gallon jars. I mean, the biggest right. Sam's jars of peanut butter you can get for your big, big family, you know, six times a week. So, yes. I don't hope he had stock in that company because tell you what, you put some money in peanut butter, that's for sure. <laughs> but man, um, Standing Stones uh, said something here. He said, we don't talk about it here as far as I know, but there's a lot of stuff happening underground. So speaking mm-hmm. of underground, uh, I'm going to touch on that. So uh, the hollow earth theory, right? Um, who was that one doctor or that one airplane uh, pilot that flew over the Antarctica and he ended up mysteriously dying? Uh, we think he got murdered because he saw the hollow earth and they try to shut him up. He wouldn't shut up. He fell out the, the whatever story building. Uh, but somebody came forward. Um, oh, what show was it? And said, cause it blew my mind and said that we we're being held by aliens that are from this planet, but and and they, and they, and they caught themselves during the interview. And they said, they're also not from this universe, but they're, I forgot how they say it, but it, they lived underground pretty much, and it and it and it went back to the hollow earth theory, mm-hmm. and and it, and it shocked me because the way it was said, it was said, it was like I can't believe I just said that, and and it was kind of like I don't want to say backpedaling out of disrespect, but they caught themselves, and it was like uh, a little too late now. I done said it. Bag, right? Yeah, can't right, tell the bag. right. And, it, and I don't know if it was a person with abilities. I think it was. And it, and it, and it caught me like really off guard because uh, I wasn't expecting that, ladies and gentlemen, from them to come out and say that just the way they did. Because, I mean, it was just like, blah, blah, blah. and I was like, huh? And, uh, you know, when I'm really into something, you know, I'm good at playing poker, man. I love playing poker. Man. I, got, <laughs> I don't want to have to wear those sunglasses or ball cap. And, uh, but, uh, by the way, I'm chiming in from Dulles, New Mexico, land of extreme. Oh, wow. All right. Thank you. Do you know? High strangeness. I like it. Yes. Uh, but, uh, but yeah, so it caught me way off guard and now the flat earth theory, that's ladies and gentlemen, that's out the window, man. I'm sorry. I, there's no way. Um, uh, we've seen too many pictures from the satellites and everything else, the other planetaries in their solar systems and our I'm not sold on it either. I've tried and I've and I've rabbit holed that for a long time and I can never found anything yet to truly prove to me. Bird, right. Bird standing stones, you're right. Yeah, yeah. yeah so yeah, yeah, I can't I yeah, I I can't buy into that. 
uh, I mean, e even my commercial, it shows the earth is round. And if you ever been up in a plane, it shows it's round, you know, it, it, it it's not flat. I mean, you know, if you want to believe in it, that's fine. I mean, I'm not going to stop you, but the whole, all the whole hollow earth theory and the theory about the, the earth was ringing. Have you, did you hear about that last week? No, about the, the, the vibrations that the earth mm -hmm. was giving off a ringing tone. Yeah. So you know, that, that, that has something to do with the magnetic north is actually moving and it's moving faster and faster as it's moving too. It's not, it was creeping along. Now it's moving at, it's like doubling its rate. I wonder if that has anything to do with it. Uh, crazy, which is I'm mixing two guys, Adam Bird and James uh, Firestall together. I, yeah, I think he's right. Yeah, I think I mixed them both together. That's right. Yeah, I mean, going back to your your Antarctica thing, though. I mean, why is there a treaty with all these different countries keeping people out of there? I mean, there's something really odd going on there, and it's been like that since what the end of World War II, I believe. Hey, do you still got that video I sent you? Um, or is it one? too far back? The one which where they one? did the cam trail and put up that curtain wall of ice. To oh, yeah. shield the boat. Uh, I can find it. Can so, find ladies it. and gentlemen, uh, this got brought up on a national show I do once a week, and uh, nobody believed me. And uh, and I was like, yeah, they uh, they they put up this smoke screen. It looked like the Antarctic wall, the the shelf of ice. And what they did was is it protected the warships. I think during World War One, or was between the I don't know which one. But it was twenties or thirties. And uh, yeah. they're like, what? I'm like, yeah. And then and, and it actually it documented it. And this plane would fly by and they made a chemtrail back in the 20s and 30s. So it's not technology is not new. And if Chris can find it, if it's not that big of a problem, I'll play the video I, for you. I, I found it here. I'm, I'm yeah. And I, I'm I just read on... I just read text it to you on the messenger. So you can pull okay. that up. So it's right there at the bottom. And uh, I'll play this real quick. And Plane uh, drop smoke curtain. That one. Yeah, because it's not very long. It's pretty cool. I never saw that. I thought that was really interesting. That shows right, you how they, they've the commercials been. Commercials here. But uh, yeah, so I, you know, I do a lot of. It looks like your office is out of date. I don't want to renew now. <laughs> Shouldn't need office. It's trying to make me renew my, yeah, it's, it's one of those things where I'm not 70 years old. And I'm going to click on it and give you my credit card. Uh, mm -hmm. But what it is, is that, I, but one of the national shows, we were talking about chemtrails or something. I'm like, what are you talking about? This has been around for like 20s or 30, over 100 years, ladies and gentlemen. And they're like, no. I'm like, yeah, no, yeah. So here's the video, ladies and gentlemen. Let me make sure I hit audio this time. Yeah. This is a wartime but let me click off usage. Yeah, and uh, it's pretty interesting. And uh, as soon as I hit play, I'm going to drop this comment here. So we what can, you're about uh, to see is pretty surreal. No, it's not a special effect from a modern day movie. It's footage of a plane laying a smoke screen sometime in the 1920s. As stated at the beginning of the video, one reason that the air service would do this is to hide the bombing plane from the enemy ship so the enemy ship couldn't fire on it. Another reason these smoke screens or smoke curtains really <laughs> go figure as they were sometimes called okay. were used is to hide a ship from an attacking sub. While the ship is safely hidden behind the smoke curtain bombers could come in and attack the sub. These naval smoke screens were created by releasing the volatile liquid titanium tetrachloride. When it hits the ocean air, it forms these magnificent dense clouds of titanium dioxide and hydrated hydrogen chloride. The hydrogen chloride immediately absorbs moisture from the air to form an aerosol of hydrochloric acid that scatters light. 
the highly refractive titanium dioxide is also effective at scattering the light. Ships were probably advised not to go through the smoke since it's highly corrosive. It's not something you'd want to breathe in. Not only can it damage your lungs, it can damage your eyes and lead to surface skin burns. Nonetheless, it created an effective smoke screen that looks pretty cool. It looks pretty so, cool, but it's hydrochloric acid. <laughs> yeah, right. It's and uh, so, and it's got the same chemical compounds. And if you look at chemtrail, uh, is it alleged the chemtrails uh, the same? Uh, some of the co same compounds as the ones that they're using today. Right. But they also use that to uh, to look like the Atlantic ice wall shell. To keep ships from going too far south to hide some of the our naval warships and to to confuse the enemies uh because they didn't have electronic compasses and mm -hmm. electronic maps on the ships they had those old bobble compasses you know and gyroscopes and all that other stuff you know right. the old technology so it was very interesting when i was on that national show and was telling them about that they were like I'm like, no, this is real. I'm being, I'm being, nothing. This is really happening. And you know, of course, I, I'm a fact checker, and I like somebody always fact checking me. And uh, and I had to send them the link. They're like, I would have never would have believed you. And I'm like, you think I'm just making this cramp up, ladies and gentlemen? I mean, you know, when Grizzly says something, you can pretty much take it to the bank. Now, I I do make mistakes or I get confused, uh, just like uh, Crazy Witch had to correct me. I'm getting two people confused because we talk about so much. But that was back in the 20s or 30s, ladies and gentlemen, when they when they had this technology. So we know they had it before then because uh, yeah. they had to test it and they had to develop it. So it, it was just interesting. And they've been um, tinkering with weather, weather modification for many, many years and yes. spraying stuff. Uh, I watched a, a, somebody that kind of came forth from Canada showing the plane that they use. He's like, I get paid 10 anywhere from 10 to $40 a gallon to go spray. And he's like, depending on what chemical they want, I've got different tanks that spray, you know, liquid versus the powder versus, and he was kind of being joking about it, but at the same time at the end, you know, he was, you know, he, I know he's making a living, but it makes you wonder where, where people's uh, uh, sense of, you know, just, the care of humanity goes you know, over money and it just it's a it's a sad thing really but uh, i could never you know take money and go do something like that but my, my biggest concern with if with all the spraying i mean you see it the clouding the chemtrails as we we all know you can actually see the sun is is getting more and more like not less defined you know you used to be able to kind of see that round ball right and now it's just kind of like a blur out there um my thought behind it is uh, uh, they've made comments and, and people have tested and there's aluminum and they're trying to spray stuff to reflect the sun to stop global warming but at the same time you know when's the last time you barbecued and you want to keep some food warm what do you do you throw some aluminum foil over top of it it also keeps heat in all right, ladies and gentlemen, that's, I mean, it's going to keep heat in. So you're going to create a greenhouse effect because there is what they call radiant cooling. Uh, there's a thermal cooling that happens at nighttime when the clouds are gone and the sun is down. And then all of a sudden, all that heat from the day dissipates. Well, now you don't have that. It's being held in. So ultimately, are they going to cause more problems? I'm sure. Yeah, it only makes sense to me. You know, sit there trying to play God with it, and uh, you know they just need to leave things alone. No, you know, there's, and, and, there's other issues they got to take care of. And I agree with you on that concept. And you know, because anytime that you use, uh, yeah, Facebook user smoke screens. Uh, anytime that you have Newton's cradle, if you might don't know what that is, Google it. I'm a firm believer in that. We used to have one as a child. Think about buying another one. Uh, and it drives a lot of people crazy because of the noise it makes. But it's very interesting to watch when you're bored. Uh, just just the noise. But uh, 
every reaction you have a chain reaction so whether it's a positive you're going to have a negative right polarities and so forth quantum physics quantum entanglements uh we can go on and on about this but the thing though is it's like a chupacabras you know we never heard that until back into the late 80s early 90s and allegedly that escaped from some laboratory back was it in somewhere in mexico or south america or something or we're, i can't remember where i know that puerto one, rico or the, it, apparently in puerto rico existed there but i don't know where the origination of it is to be honest with you yeah now allegedly you know now you all out there that are listening you know chime in and let me know if i'm right or wrong hey yeah I'll, I'll be happy to take that blue pill um uh, you know was that man made and did they let it out or did it escape you know uh because the ones we see are not the actual ones that we are accustomed to know about back in the day when we were younger we're seeing them more canine like like an actual dog on four legs when i think of chupacabra i'm thinking of the damn monster that's bipedal it looks like a lizard you know what i'm saying so you know is that true did do we actually make that are we making right. these things that wash up on beaches the first reporting sightings of chupacabra occurred in puerto rico in the mid 1990s is that what somebody put Nope, that's what uh, AI just told me. Wow. Chat GPT. Wow. Yeah, there you go. Well, Yolanda say what? <laughs> right? Mm -hmm. So, you know, it just, that's what I'm saying. So, you know, so we know Stalin wanted to interbreed woman and ape to create a super soldier. Okay. Yes, I did say that. And yes, he tried to have uh, that in doctrine, and he went with experiments to have that done, to have cross uh, infertilization and cross breeding to have that happen. Uh, and then um, we were talking about that on one of the national shows, and they actually succeeded in the 70s, 80s, and 90s of had given birth and out and it was in another country because of our i forgot what laws that we have on our books here we're not allegedly supposed to play that that's why we have other countries we call them safe havens we can go over there and play god and do what we want to do but mm -hmm. uh but they end up dying shortly after uh so yeah so it you know jurassic park you know bringing back the woolly mammoth uh, you know, if there was not too long ago that the, 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 I forgot what science, uh, article, uh, saying that we're going to start eating woolly mammoth meat in restaurants and we won't know the difference because they're going to be able to grow it in Petri dishes. And yeah. it's just like, you know, yep. they and, got the DNA, right? So, right. so do you know, in do. the winter, you can see Simstel rise from certain points of, uh, bending gums. Uh, I'm not too familiar with that for Mesa. Uh, uh, stem rising. Oh, steam. Sorry. Mm. That's, that's my trifocals there, sir. <laughs> so, yeah, but no, it, it, it just makes you wonder. It's, there's a lot of things out there that we are not being told the truth. We, we're being kept in the dark. Uh, everybody's talking about the lightning period, the awakening period. And, and you know, I don't know what that is. I don't know what it's going to be, if it is going to be, but it, it's what is, what is, what is going to be the truth uh, right now. Everything such as deception, you know, you look at the common media, ladies and gentlemen, and then we're going to bring in the cryptids and cryptozoology and these creatures and, and stuff like that. I mean, we What's have next? people that are coming forward and telling us their encounters and experiences with different types of creatures. And we have one woman uh, that's very well known in the community that I think, and, and I talked to Chris and we even, I even told her and, and Chad, I think she's got elementals uh, from the videos and pictures that she's displaying in the group. Uh, that is a private group just among certain people. 
uh, because she don't know what the hell is going on and the recordings that Chris has been monitoring and and using his software to enhancing and take out the pollution of certain background noise to hear. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, I'm, I'm telling you, there are things that walk upon this earth and exist that people do not want to believe that it's real. And that's fine, man. You want to live in your bubble? So be it. You, you got your, your own right. You're reptilians. Yes. Uh, do they absolutely exist? Yes, Thomas, they do. Uh, have I seen one? Absolutely not. Hopefully I never do. Um, now, right. Thomas, I've seen videos of movie stars. I don't know if that's been doctored up or whatnot. So I have no idea about their eyes and look like lizards or malfunctions and so forth. But you know, I mean, I don't know anymore. It, it, it's hard to tell what is reality. And, and that's the point. You know, uh, we want your all's input. You know, uh, Chris is going to have guests. Uh, I'm going to go with the flow. Uh, it's going to be an interesting ride. I, I, I can assure you that. I don't think we're going to have any dull moments. Mm -hmm. But I want your all's perspective on things because if you try to tell us, and if you can picture yourself looking at Earth out in space and picture nothing up and nothing down and nothing to the left and to the right for eternity and say we're the only things out here, there's no way. It's just impossible. Now, a lot of people are like, well, do you believe in UFOs, Grizzly? I'm like, yes, I do. Now... Do I believe the ones back from the 30s, 40s, 50s, and 60s that look like the 40s and 50s and 60s cars? <laughs> no, not really, because why are they going to change, you know, just like the automobiles do? You know, I don't think they're going to be streamlined every 10 years to look like a different manufacturer that made them. Got a new model that came out. What are you talking about? Yeah. They got that, the newest and greatest. <laughs> right. That That's my point. So I think those are fabricated images. Uh, now, people that are capturing images where the UFO is a mile big, a mile long, uh, something that looks like a, uh, a skyscraper that's flying on its side. Now, ladies and gentlemen, that, that defies physics, you know, that we know of. Once again, I say you take science, throw it out the window because you cannot always put mathematicals or numbers on things that does not exist in different realities or realms. Or uh, Facebook users. It yeah. It could be Project Blue Beam where they're just shooting a hologram out there, you know. It, it could, could be. be. Yeah. Facebook could user. Be. Uh, the super soldier was created by the Watchers, which was Nephilim. And after it got destroyed by the flood, they became disembodied, not demonic Nephilim. So now we got somebody with biblical reference and a biblical background, I can tell. Mm -hmm. I believe everyone makes a mistake, so they called cryptids for the DDN. So now that just told me who this person is. They have the abilities to manifest in an obesity form and these elements of their advantage. So I, I absolutely know who this is now. And I do agree with you, kind sir. And I know you had encounters with these, and I know you still have encounters with these demonic spirits. And I know beyond a reasonable doubt, and we talked about this on one of my shows, that if you rebuke them in the name of Jesus Christ, they will be gone. But you got to have faith to do it. So, and this is where we're saying, you know, in one of the shows is too that we covered is, and we had this debate with several other people, can these cryptids. Yolanda's trying to drive possessed. it right in the ditch. What's that? So Yolanda's trying to drive everything right into the ditch. I'm I'm ignoring it. I'm just yeah, yeah like just, not just ignore it. Just keep going. <laughs> so you know, uh, but you know, is is that is that the case or not? Right? And I think they I think anything yeah. living can be possessed or yep. be taken over. You now know, are they all like, possessed? No, I don't. I mm -hmm. don't say that. No, I, and I don't think that. Absolutely not. So, uh, but I'm just saying, uh, whatever the possibility phase, is there, right? I mean, yes, there is a yeah. possibility. Mm -hmm. uh, I've seen Cujo, 
I'll never forget that movie. That scared the hell out of me growing up. That was a mean yeah. dog, you know, stuck in that car in that hot summer day. Mm-hmm. But, you know, you, you, ladies and gentlemen, think for yourself. Uh, it's going to be interesting and in where uh, Chris and I are going to go. Uh, you may not agree. That's fine. You know, uh, we value your opinions. We value your insights. Uh, we want your comments. Uh, any topics you want us to look into or cover, throw them out. Uh, if you got videos, uh, evidence or stuff, topics you want to discuss, man, hey, we'll schedule you. Come on live. I'm bringing you on. That's not a problem. Because uh, this is a journey, ladies and gentlemen, we're going to take together, not mm-hmm. just the two of us. Uh, I think there's a lot of things that's going to be exposed that needs to be exposed. Uh, and I'm not saying that everything that we encounter is going to be paranormal related or cryptic related, you know, are there going to be conspiracies? Absolutely. So in a quarter long, and I'm going to let Chris take over, I'm going to pull up and this is going to show what state I worked in, uh, Indiana and conspiracy law. So I can read you what the IC code is because a lot of people don't know What's an IC code? Uh, uh, Indiana layman. code. Okay. Uh, just like KRS, because since I live in Kentucky, it's Kentucky Revised Statute. Okay. So Indiana 3545-52, and this is the conspiracy uh, statute. Conspiracy Section 2, it says, a person, it says a person, which means a, which means one, person conspires to commit a felony when with intent to commit a felony when the person agrees with another person to commit the felony so now we got two that conspiracy to commit a felony is a felony of the same level as the underlying felony however you can spit a conspiracy to commit murder is murder so what we're saying is is to conspire it takes how many there you go, ladies and gentlemen. So that's how we get conspiracies and conspiracy theorists out here in the world. So uh, I, did, but I yes. didn't know they had that as a law or, or written oh like yeah, that. oh yeah. So if you and I are sitting around and BS and talking some smack, buddy, you're breaking the law. <laughs> <laughs> and yep. uh, people's been been to jail over that. So and oh, yeah. once again, Minority Report. So just like the movie, but this is what I'm telling you, people, it's, you know, we do have to be careful on certain keywords that we're not allowed to say. And and Chris and I talked about it. We're pretty much safe. Uh, There's because we're some of the journeys we're going to travel down with the show are not going to affect the show at all. Some of the roads uh, we're not going to go down because it's different shows. Uh, so we're okay on that, but there's some things we cannot say in f- keywords or phrases because uh, YouTube will flag us and and ban the show immediately. So we got to be careful and stuff like that. And and yes, are we being uh, censored? Absolutely. Uh, that's why there's other platforms that people refuse to use, such as uh, I'm not going to say the channel that we're on right now, like others that were live as well. But you know. Uh, but it's sad, you know, and, but we have the freedom to free speech and so forth is our constitutional bill of rights that are, are God given to us and, and our poor and forefathers paid in, in blood and fought for us. So, which is another show in which we'll get flagged again through NORAD and everybody else, the CIA, which we just got flagged again, but it, it's going to be in, it's going to be interesting. And, right. but, uh, We'll, we'll come up with an email address and so forth. And uh, but we want to hear from you. And uh, what do you think, Chris? You think we're going to have fun well, with it? I think we'll have a lot of fun. We'll go down a lot of different rabbit holes. And, and again, we're, we're just kind of talking about what we know exists I mean, and, and theorizing things. So just because uh, we're talking conspiracy theories doesn't mean we're causing any damage. We're just exercising our right to free speech uh and just chatting 
you know, this is entertainment, guys. I mean, this is what it's about. So we, we want to kind of kick the bucket around the yard and, you know, see see what happens. <laughs> That's more or less it. But I think we'll have a lot of fun. Yeah, I do too. Sure. And I, we also want to know what you all think. That's that's the other por- important part because we we hear what everybody else thinks when we interview and and go out and investigate and and interview other people's encounters and and their stories. But what do you all know, and what's your all's opinions? Because I guarantee they're probably not far off, or you may have a different spin that maybe you make us or make me do that coin phrase that y'all love me to say. Do what? Because when you get well, me to do that, that's impress. That's that's impressive. So yeah. <laughs> uh, but but no, I mean, no, nobody's wrong, right? I mean, everybody's. Nah. Do, do we really know everything? No. No. Nah. I mean, nah. And that's the fun about talking about it. We really don't know, but we get to we get to theorize it, and you know, try to figure it out. Yeah. Yeah. No, I agree. Hopefully, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, we got your uh, attention a little bit in the next show. You're gonna you're gonna like it. Uh, you wait wait to see the guest Chris is uh, Chris is gonna bring on. It's gonna be interesting. So yeah, for sure, Mike's a great guy. You'll like it. All right, ladies and gentlemen, from coast to coast and around the world, that's a wrap. Godspeed. We'll see you on the next show. Good night, guys. Love you. Good night. It's a grizzly. Should we get out of here? No. We're gonna watch and listen. Action. It's a grizzly. Oh, ship, should we run? <laughs> no. Action. It's a grizzly. Oh, sh. Should we run? <laughs> okay. It's a grizzly. Are you sure it's not Jim Monk? <laughs> Ah, I'm out of here. <laughs> it's a grizzly. Oh, I'm out of here. Huh. Maybe it is a chipmunk. Oh, it's a grizzly. Oh, it. Are we going to die? I don't know. We're just going to sit here and listen and watch. Let's get out of here, maybe. (laughs) Paul!